the real time real estate segment today being brought to you by rsrmoney.com rsrmoney.com let's see what we've got in store for you today i guess i should check and make sure that we're all okay sorry about that uh you know it's the li- idea of live radio is it better to rent than buy a home right now there's a lot of misconceptions about that right now. You may have seen reports in the news recently saying it's more affordable to rent right now than it is to buy a home. And while that may be true in some markets, if you just look at a typical monthly payments, there's one thing that the numbers are not factoring in, home equity. Here's a look at how big of an impact equity can have, equity can have and why it's worth considering as you make your decision. What the headlines are based on. We've got a graph that uses national data on the median rental payment from Realtor.com and median mortgage payment from the National Association of Realtors, NAR, to compare the two options. As the graph shows, if you're watching us on RonSiegelRadio.tv, any of our socials, or the ABC News and Talk AM 1490, FM 98.1 video feeds. February 2024 rental report, the median asking rent in the 50 largest metros. Monthly more median asking rent. Okay, overall 1708. Studio is 1426. One bedroom is 1528. Two bedroom is 28. I'm sorry, 1889. Now remember, when we look at this, we are in California, and many parts of California are significantly higher. I know that a two bedroom in Orange County. You're probably looking at closer to 4,000 than to 1859. But this is the median. Median means half of those 50 largest metros are more than half or less. It's not an average of them, it's a median. Now, the median monthly mortgage payment, $2,040. So let's go further. If you're looking for something with two bedrooms, the gap between the median rent and the median mortgage payment starts to shrink to a difference that may be more doable. Remember, 2040 less 1889 is about 150 bucks. Okay, so let's uh, let's keep going. The median monthly mortgage payment 2040, the median monthly rent, two bedrooms 1889, that's a difference of about 151. But here's what happens when you factor in equity. Equity changes the game. If you rent your monthly rental payment goes toward covering your housing costs and your landlord's expenses. So other than saving a bit of money each month, $151, that's $1,812 a year, and maybe getting your rental deposit back when you move, the money you spend on housing each month is gone forever. When you buy, your monthly mortgage payment pays for your shelter, but it also acts as an investment. That investment grows in the form of equity as you make your mortgage payment each month and chip away at what you owe on your home loan. Your equity gets an extra boost as home values climb, which they typically do. To give you a clearer idea of how equity can really stack up fast, here's some data for you. Each quarter, Fannie Mae and Pulsonomics publish the results of the Home Price Expectation Survey. It asks more than 100 economists, real estate professionals, and investment and market strategists what they think will happen with home prices. In the latest release, those experts say home prices are going to keep going up over the next five years. Got an example of how equity builds based on the projections from the home price expectation survey. There is another graph on that. Imagine you purchased a home, $400,000 at the start of this year. Chances are, since you bought, you plan to stay put for a while based on the home price expectation survey projections. If you live there for five years, you could end up gaining over $83,000 in household wealth as your home grows in value. Here's how that stacks up compared to renting using the overall median rent that we discussed. While you may save a bit on your monthly payments, if you rent right now, you'll also miss out on gaining equity. So what's the big takeaway? Whether it makes more sense to rent or buy is going to vary based on your personal finances. It's not a good idea to buy if the numbers don't truly work out for you. But if you're ready and able, adding equity to the financial puzzle piece may be enough to help you realize buying is a better move in the long run. 
And I will share with you, we have got a great report that compares buying over renting in every zip code in the United States. So all I need you to do is give it, send us a note. Say, what do you, uh, we want a buy versus rent report. And we'll put that together for you. Tell us what your current rent is or what you're contemplating for rent. Tell us what your um, uh, purchase price or suggest thought is. Or we can go backwards. We can say, okay, you're looking at renting in, I don't know, uh, Anaheim, and the rent's going to be $4,000. What's my purchase budget there at that same $4,000 price? And we'll work it out for you. Bottom line, when it comes down to it, buying a home gives you a benefit renting just cannot provide, and that's the chance to gain equity. If you want to take advantage of the long-term home price appreciation, again, give me a call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. That's the real-time real estate segment brought to you by rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com. 